Welcome back to the Big Kids Toys YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about vinyl for beginners. These are people, you know, maybe it's your first stereo system and you want it based around your turntable, or maybe you've had a stereo for a while and you're just getting into vinyl. Either way, we're gonna go over some tips that I have for getting your first turntable, but also I'm gonna recommend two turntables depending on what the budget is, what the system's like. Jumping into the world of vinyl can be a little bit daunting, I think, especially, you know, if you've been reading like the audio forums and you keep on seeing things about like VTA and VTF, downforce, all trackability, all this stuff. A lot of times that's stuff that you really don't have to worry about. Companies like Project and Clear Audio, they make turntables where the user can just forget about that stuff because they've taken care of it. And for someone just getting into vinyl, that's really what you need. You don't need to be worrying about all that. You want it plug and play. Now, before you actually do plug and play and you pop that record on and, and you're off to the races, you wanna take a look at your system and your room, but you also want to go buy some vinyl. You don't wanna just have one record that you keep playing over and over and over because you're just never gonna play it. So I recommend going to Walmart's re website, taking a look at some of their specials. I also really like local record stores. It's pretty nice flipping through vinyl. And a lot of times they have used stuff that's pretty cheap. You can buy a big stack of records and it costs a lot less than one new one. One tip I have on that though is take the, before you buy it, take the record out and make sure there aren't any huge scratches on there because those can be pretty annoying after a while. So after you have, you know, a fair amount of records that you, you know, you know you're going to like and you know you're going to play, take a look at where you want to sit your turntable. This seems kind of obvious, but sometimes people don't think it all the way through. They kind of think like a streamer where you can just pop it in a cabinet and forget about it. Well, a turntable, you actually, you know, you're coming up to it and touching it, right? You're using the dust cover and all that stuff. So I always recommend sitting it on top of a cabinet for a couple reasons. Number one, it can be away from, you know, dogs and cats that may like to jump or scratch. I also think that a lot of times that that can be the most stable part of of a room and you'll have the least amount of resonance and rumble coming back up to the table. So all that stuff is really important to think about before you actually buy the turntable. Have a plan for where you're gonna sit it and, and all that. All right, next let's talk about the actual turntable. Right here we have the Project Debut Carbon Evo. We did a full breakdown video of this turntable a while back. You should go check it out if you wanna know all the ins and outs of this table. But basically it's sleek, it's reliable, and and it's easy to use. Retails for $5.99, comes in a bunch of different colors so you can match with your speaker or your cabinet, you know, whatever kind of interior design that you're you're looking to go for. The Project Debut Carbon Evo is pretty much my go-to for someone that is just getting into their first system and wants vinyl to be a part of that. At $5.99, it's a really good value for, you know, price versus performance, which is what we go for here at Big Kids Toys. So for clients that are looking to take that next jump in performance, I recommend the Clear Audio Concept AIR. This turntable is a performance turntable. Typically, a turntable like this is for someone who maybe not only just wants to listen to vinyl, but they want their vinyl to sound as good or better than any digital source that they have in their system. So one reason I like the Clear Audio is it's a little bit more upgradable. You can do a carbon fiber tone arm, you have options between a moving magnet or moving coil cartridge. Moving coil gives you a lot more detail. You can also get like a linear power supply that helps you know lower all that background noise. Stuff like that can become really important as your system gets better and better. And for that reason, this turntable is a little bit more expensive but you also have a higher performance on it. A couple of other features that I like, it's got a switch here to go between 33, 45, and 78. You don't have to change the belt like you do on the project. Also, the, the platter and the plinth are very heavy, so you have a lot less resonance coming up to that turntable right off the bat. 
Tables like the Project and Clear Audio serve the same purpose, right? They're both playing vinyl, but they definitely fit different systems and they're for, they're made for different people. If vinyl is just something you'd like to play every now and then, you have some old records that sometimes you like to hear, go with the Project. You, you will be satisfied for years to come with that table. If you really want something that will give you the best sound that vinyl can give you and really compete with some of the best DACs and streamers out there, you got to go with something like a clear audio concept. The important thing about both of these tables is they're both easy to use. Both are easy to set up. Clear audio is a little bit more involved, but nothing too crazy. And you know, they're both really fun to use and you're going to enjoy them. And that's always the most important part. If you're looking at getting into vinyl, give us a shout. We can give you some recommendations on, on your system setup, maybe even get you a recommendation to go to a local record store. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We're getting close to a thousand subscribers here, which is just really cool. Thank you guys so much for, for continuing to watch. We'll see you next time.